Good morning. Going live. Yes, we are live. We're going. We're going live. Oh, we are live. We are live. Did you even bother to look at the time zones? I asked you. I thought I, you. I know. I, I said <laughs> no. I. God damn it! <laughs> it's got to be one of those days. It's no. It's um. I don't know. It's a, it's a weird, weird world. But it's not going to be one of those days. The days are like. Uh, the days there's too many perfect days. Although, uh, it, uh, not to bore people with the weather of South Dakota, it has been uh, the hottest, longest summer, not on record, but uh, since I've been alive here, and uh, it's it's made the outdoors impossible to enjoy, and so I'm stuck indoors, and that turns me into Jack Nicholson from uh, The Shining, and I am very pissed off. Uh, but there's nothing to do because you're literally old man yelling at the clouds in terms of weather. So, uh, but that, that ends today. I did the math. Let me show you how Jack, would you like to see how caring I am? Would you like to see how much I'm concerned and think of others? I would love to. I did the math to calculate our degrees into your communist degrees into Celsius. Oh, the, the Celsius that existed way longer than you are where, you know, for, off the for, your, right. for your culture who has yet to land on the moon, need constant protection from the Germans and the Russians, somebody to fetch your bike back, us who created practically nearly everything. Yes, that that one. You know, they got rid of Roman numerals, too, because they were inefficient. The Arabic ones were much more efficient. Really? I know I know. in Europe, old is good. You know, I know. I mm. Oxcarts whatever or kings and socialism and monarchy well, I, I wish they stayed just with arabic numbers instead of the entire demographic that would be nice uh, anyway <laughs> see what i did there i i see what you did there. i uh converted it's like 38 celsius uh, oh yeah. yeah but is it like humid or no thankfully in, in south dakota it is not i mean there's that's the one thing but even then you know if you're trying to power up a mountain you're not having fun anymore you just no. not. It, it's the difference between being married to a, a nice, sweet wife and a nagging wife. You know, well, does she wear does she wear a nice dress? What well, doesn't matter? She's nagging me, you know, that kind mm -hmm. of thing. So, um, but uh, yeah, today is is only going to be 88, which I don't know what that translates into Celsius. And then tomorrow it drops to 60 and it's going to oh. rain and it's going to be cool. And then, then it should be normal temperatures, and then I might go out and enjoy my backyard. Um, Maybe. No, Maybe. I will. I will. About it. I won't lie, man. It's. I didn't think the weather would have this much of an effect on me, but oh, I. You it, didn't. It, no, but I mean, I. Well, you would know over time, logically, long enough time, bad enough weather, people are gonna have a negative opinion. But I don't even have the spirit to go out and adventure and explore anymore. You know, I really got to force myself to get out there. So today we're going to go hike a canyon because it's in the shade. Mm. Uh, but yeah, and, and but just now it's like, oh, I got to get out. I've been playing a lot of video games. I've, I've become a, a degenerate. Nice. What have you been playing? Uh, Assassin's Creed Origins and Odyssey. Both mm -hmm. are exceptionally well-made games, except, um, and it's not even the SJW stuff. It's just, liberal talentless art majors have to put their dick in the punch bowl mm. as it were so um are you familiar with the series at all i played i believe the first two a former girlfriend of mine had them and she absolutely loved it and it looked great it it, it yeah the, there's varying ones like black flag the, the premise is and it's a really cool premise you learn about it uh there are different stages throughout history and there's this secret society of assassins and you run around and you kill the bad guys and you protect society so it takes place in different epochs within human history so there's the french revolution there's the uh, pirate days in the uh, in the caribbean uh i'm in ancient egypt the other one's in ancient greece so these, these are really cool you learn about what's going on mm -hmm. well for whatever reason because Art majors are talentless, worthless people. They started introducing this thing called the animus. 
Because it's not just good enough that there's this secret society that has been with us since recorded human history and they protect us from the shadows. No, it's not that good. They have to now bring it into the future where there are cutscenes. because when you play the character, you're not just going back in time playing this character. You're a modern day empowered woman who's plugged into a machine called the Animus and they get DNA and all the memories of all these assassins in the past can be recalled and you can play through the animus. So it's not really kind of these cool heroes like Bayek and Alexios and um, all these other different cool people. No, you're, I think her name is Alyssa or Layla or something like that. And you're, you're going in the past to play these people through the machine. And then, so you're having a grand old time. Everything's going great. You beat a, a mid-level boss, whatever. And then you cut scene to the modern day time. And the, uh, of course, empowered woman is the hero and she's got a headphone microphone. She's talking to some other female on who's at headquarters. I mean, it's that bad. You're like, what, what's going on? What, who are these people? Mm -hmm. Oh no, Layla, look out. The bad guys are coming. Oh, but you must drink water before you go back in. The human body is not able to take the animus for that long. And there's this, all this other subplot about corporate politics going on. It's like, look, can, <laughs> can you people, whether it's Hollywood or, Silicon Valley or writers, can you just stop dropping trousers and putting diarrhea on things that are otherwise good? Could you just let it be? And that's like the number one complaint. So ev ev thankfully, everyone is skipping. Like you have, mm. thankfully, you have a skip button. You could skip through this crap. And so I just want to say to the writers and the people and the video game designers who forced us with this completely unnecessary thing f you we didn't read it we didn't watch it we didn't bond with the characters i'm glad your talentless worthless uh art majors who couldn't hack it as a commercial writer run for commercials we didn't read or listen to what they wrote and please knock it off like they could literally just leave this like the next whatever the next historical era they would like to do you could mm -hmm. just get rid of the animus stuff, save yourselves a lot of money, a lot of headache, a lot of problem on the on the development <laughs> side, and we're gonna love the game just fine. Because but, uh, Assassin's Creed used to be that your conscious in the is in the body of an ancestor, right? Maybe. So now I, they, they completely changed that. Yeah, where I, the yeah. girl, her conscious is now in the body of a male assassin or a female. You could choose. Uh, <sighs> it, it, oh, you can still choose. Yeah, back in the day, though, you, you're right. Now that I remember, I think the original one was, it, it was an ancestor. But it is so unnecessary for the game. And and hats off, I really got to tip my hat. They programmed a hell of a game. Both of the games are are just brilliant. I would say on the level of Red Dead Redemption, um, very open environment, very pretty, a lot of fun. The mechanics are great. Everything's good, good plot. Uh, I did not, I don't do cutscenes. Um, because so maybe there's some again they they grab the IQ of 85 writer they used to write that and they say hey write a story so maybe there's some woke political BS in there mm -hmm. um but I wouldn't say but it, it's a very enjoyable game so I've been able to kind of calm down and, and bide the time as it's 100 degrees outside mm -hmm. uh, yeah you really like those explorer games don't you I gotta get lost you gotta I've I've been wrestling not wrestling but pioneering a different line of thought about escapism and uh how not that you live in an alternative world or i believe i'm these characters in real life and that's where i place my value but this world is filled with such stupid dumbasses and not at all times can you go and do fun things and so uh if you get caught up with your work you need something to do and it can't always be work so i've been I guess it's a form of healthy vice where it's like, ah, I'm going to go and get lost in this world. Mm. You know? I mean, every, every person needs a vice. Like I'm still mm. juggling with that. Like, okay, pick one, <laughs> you know, it's like, which one do you want? It's not going to be alcohol. I know that. That's no. not the one. No, 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 no. That's no. not the one. Uh, it, I mean, people know this about me. I, I used to have a terrible smoking habit. Mm. And occasionally, I still like to have one now and then. But there, I'm also kind of like, yeah, please don't. Now, then you have the sweets, which mm -hmm. the day, because like 
my baseline is just a normal healthy diet mm. but when i do take like the ice cream which is a complete pint by the way maybe it's the dosage oh yeah but... if you're gonna go go big don't don't yeah but the, yeah. the day after that i have i am just like melancholic as fuck where it's like everything sucks <laughs> nothing feels great kill me like, now wait a minute here's the now, sugar is not this, worth it i'm glad <laughs> i got jack you are so fortunate to have me because i have gone down yeah. this path i you're you're so in many ways in countless ways you guys you guys just so fortunate that i was born and get, <laughs> a gift to the freaking humanity so look let me tell you something about vice i agree with you that you need a vice it cannot be a bad vice uh, but I, I would almost argue any vice is better than no vice at all, unless we're talking about oh, heroin. Yes. Yeah, 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 yeah. But the trick to vice is you got to do it without guilt. Because if you're going to, like, dude, have the freaking ice cream. Have the freaking drink. Have the freaking uh, cigarette. Um, <clears throat> obviously, cigarettes and all that are bad. But you're just, you're not even enjoying the vice, which gets back to the escapism. Like, I don't feel guilty for playing the video games. And I think a lot of us here in the red pill community, we're so focused on excellence and self-improvement that you, you don't allow yourself these indulgences every once in a while uh, and guilt-free on top of it, because it's, it's just uh, man, life gets miserable quick. If you just can't enjoy an ice cream cone. Well, exactly. But it's not that I don't enjoy the ice cream. I really do. It's like the day afterward because my body is used to normal, healthy stuff. My oh, body biophysiologically, goes on a strike. you feel. Yeah, peaceful. like it's like my body oh, goes yeah, on a strike. Yeah. Like, what the hell did you do to us? Yeah, yeah. you will suffer mentally. It's like, <laughs> like yeah. joy has escaped from my life the day afterward. It's like, no, 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 you can't feel happy. You did that yesterday. Today, you will suffer. Yeah. Right. But it was good ice cream. I was disappointed by you, Yanks. Like I finally now? got when I was with Vince and Rob, I got the like Ben and Jerry's sugar flavor, like oh, the, the wait, ultimate. Wait, wait, oh wait, wait. Okay, let me get this right. So, Vince and Rob, yes, not socialist, right? No, and they took you to buy communist ice cream. That is the most woke brand. No, I food. wanted that. Oh, you want? Okay, all right. Tell me how your experience with communist ice cream went. <laughs> So, like, I showed you the flavor, the tonight dough with, like, chocolate everything. Mm -hmm. Like, everything that's possible. It's like Rule 34, but with chocolate. Yeah, okay. I, it, I yeah. think I made a huge mistake saying it like that, but I think you know what I mean. Mm -hmm. And, meh. What is it? Meh. I was like, this is going to be it. It's like sugar upon sugar upon chocolate upon everything. And I was like, no, they still haven't topped half-baked. Nope. Nope. No. It, nope. Ben and Jerry's. Um, and now it's sold to a large corporation, but, um, that's, that's your classic example of, we're going to create marginal ice cream, but we're going to put, they were one of the original ones, <clears throat> them and Coke, one of the original woke advertisers, but it's ice cream with a purpose. It's like, I got your purpose right here. And, mm -hmm. you know, and then it's shamefully many conservatives, which is pretty much every conservative, libertarian or Republican. I'm very principled politically. But I'll go shop at Target, you know, because they're convenient. Oh, but, you know, I need a treat. I need Ben and Jerry. I just F you guys. Just go to hell. But the, the thing is with corporations, you know the meme, right? Like um, a flag the, on it and they sold to you. Yeah, I mean, this markup. goes back to uh, Occupy Wall Street. And then mm -hmm. all of a sudden Black Lives Matter came along. Like, I'm not going to go too deep in the conspiracy theory, but it's like that meme of the woe jacks with the fight capitalism. And you see the evil pig capitalism all of a sudden puts a pride flag in front right, of yeah, it. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's like, well, we care. Give me your money. It's it's one hundred percent accurate because they have. I've said this long ago. Uh, we have spent decades and trillions of dollars, at least here in the United States. You guys don't make enough money to have trillions of dollars in Europe. Um, we have spent much money and time uh, giving. I would say two full generations. We, we've just prepackaged and installed on them their life value system, and it is socialism and all of its variant derivative types whether that's feminism uh environmentalism and all that and what we have now is two generations of worthless completely valueless useless people uh, i mean not 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 that they couldn't go work or do anything like that but all all they have quite literally all they have sadly tragically even if they are professionals where they do br bring value in their minds the only thing that gives them value is their politics and that's how corporations are marketing off of that and they're kind of thinking like oh this is a godsend we don't have to like 
think how easy it is now for the corporations. They don't have to improve the product. They don't have to streamline or become more efficient. They don't have to work harder to create a better product at a, at a cheaper price or one of the two cheaper price, same quality, higher quality, same price. They, they don't have to do anything. All they have to do is advertise to your value system, which is your skin color, what genitalia you like to lick. Uh, I would even remove women from that, not not gender, but women is its own cult mm. of feminine. Like that is just, oh my God, we're women. Like half the population for all of eternity. Uh, that that is what they're they're advertising to. So yeah, I am acutely aware of that. If you can even call it marketing mm. tactic, it's just well, however, like it's not look, you were right. But times are changing a bit. Look at Netflix. Their stock has been down like tremendously. And that had nothing to do with the whole Ukraine whatever thing. That was right. going down before that. Warner Brothers got a new CEO and they just uh, shelved that new Batgirl film that was supposed to be some, mm. you know, fem empowerment thing. Not only did they shelf it, they completely destroyed it. Where mm. it's like, you know what? We're not doing this anymore. The new CEO from Warner Brothers is kind of like, yeah, we, we've had enough of this. We're not bringing him back kind of thing. Mm -hmm. So there is a bit more of a, you think a different, hope? well, not per se hope, mm -hmm. but they're not pandering to the masses as much. Of course, people are going to pander to, um, and I was talking to Watson about this. Like I used to be a volunteer for the Libertarian Party here in the Netherlands. Mm -hmm. And the uh, the leading guy once said, "I the the guy who invented the term socialism deserves the Nobel Prize because who could go against being social? That was just marketing genius, and he was right about that because look, most if not all people will not disagree with you when you say, "Hey, shouldn't we help out people? Of course, blah 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 blah, and it's very surface level thinking. Yes." Now, if you actually engage in a conversation with somebody where you don't hammer on your points, but just ask them questions, nine times out of 10, you'll find out, oh, I never thought of it like that. I was just left by default. But now that you mention it, hey, it doesn't make sense. Yeah, I know. Mm -hmm. I've had that with girls so many times. Like you guys, you especially, like you fall over girls being feminist nine times out of 10. It's like they say they're feminist. You just ask a question and all of a sudden it's like, Oh, I never thought of it like that. Oh, well, yeah, Please no, I, I know. I just I just don't have tolerance for stupid and hypocritical people. I just don't have. I know, I know, like, well, Ryan, you know, like, well, a, a girl doesn't know what six feet long, tall is. Uh, oh, they're socialists or they're all feminists, blah, blah, blah. I, I really don't have time uh, for such, especially when the survival of society rides off of it. I'll, I'll, and it's just I'll give you one thing. I'll give yeah. you one thing. Most of my arguments I got from you. It's like the economic arguments oh. I got all from you. It's all you. <laughs> but you were, yeah, I, you were a godsend to all of us. I, I truly am. Yes. Uh, <laughs> I I uh, I hope you're right though about uh, Warner Brothers and whatever else turning. I just don't think. Um, I honestly don't think they're going. Uh, he won't last because the ultimate value, at least here in the United States, I'd also assume Europe. The ultimate value uh, for people is themselves and this their new religion of politics. Um, and th there's going to be such a backlash if you were to make a traditional movie or anything that's good or quality. Um, and if you don't pander to these people, because literally what else is there? What else is there to get them to buy something? Daily Wire is doing that lately. They're... Okay. Um... Daily Wire is the uh, conservative. I know Daily movie. Wire. What what okay. are they doing? Yeah. They are now making their own films and things like that because Gina Carano, uh, Gina Carano, apologies, got fired from Star Wars for sharing a meme. Yeah, and Ben Shapiro and all those guys reached out to her, where it's mm -hmm. like, hey, we want to be a competition for Netflix, but mm -hmm. we want either no politics in it or traditional values in it. Mm -hmm. One of the two. And she said, okay, and the movie came out. It's a bit, look, you cannot escape the whole femme-centric part anymore. 
because that's just ingrained with everybody, even the conservatives. But at least it's not this this overbearingly socialist social justice crap. Right. right. It is a bit like women good, men bad, which it has been for years. And like even with the 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 whole banning of Tate part, there are some conservatives who are like, well, you don't talk about women like that. It's like, wow, really? Like, come on, you've never been with a girl. Power of the before. pussy. Power yeah, I, even with like Rolo was right. Rolo was one hundred percent right. Uh, sisterhood, Uber Alice. Yes. It knows no politics. It <laughs> no. knows no politics. See, so it's it's not bad. It's there when you know it, but at least it's still enjoyable. I I, I okay, cool. <clears throat> I'm gonna go hike instead. On I, I mean, I really I, the. The days of Die Hard, Casablanca, The Last Boy Scout, Kelly's Heroes. I think the best movie I've seen in a long time has been Top Gun. Mm -hmm. And that was essentially a remake of a 1986 film. A very good remake. It, it was very clever, and I enjoyed it very much. But, man, these movies are crap. I, I think you're just going to the the well is so tainted, and the... Uh, what's what I'm looking for audience you're marketing to not to mention the talent pool you're pulling from to create this. Everyone in the United States is crap. You're all filth, including conservatives. You're all a bunch of worthless people and it shows in the products we make. And so I don't care anymore. To, oh, hold to on. Is yeah, that okay. so? Is that so? Because well, well, you I mean, mentioned, I mean, wait, 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 wait. You yeah. mentioned Top Gun. That yeah. made a lot more bank. Than any of the social justice crap these days, right? Things. Right. So apparently, there is there is a wanting for it, sort of say. Right. But what I'm saying is that is the exception to the rule. There will always be an occasional movie that's good. I mean, Tom Cruise is coming out with another Mission Impossible, and you're damn right I'm going to see it because Tom Cruise does good work, and it's just a good fun time movie. Uh, but the that's Tom Cruise, which for the criticisms of him, the man is an exceptional human being. He's an exceptional physical shape. He's an exceptional entrepreneur. Maybe not the world's greatest actor, but he puts it together. <clears throat> the guy just works. He makes a good quality product. Show Clint me somebody Eastwood. else. That That is not industry standard. That is not the industry average. We Clint got, Eastwood. Okay, Clint is going to die any second now. Have you seen his last movie, The Mule? No, I heard uh, the... Macho cry, cry macho. Oh, that one was good too. Yeah, no, oh, you've got, uh, wait. So, Gran Torino, that's great. Gran Torino, Gran Torino God, was excellent. Yes. God, that movie is so good. Daisy, oh, the dog, the poor dog. Um, then you got The Mule, which is pretty dope. See the Mule. Oh, The Mule is great. Okay, I'll watch The Mule. And uh, then you got, yeah, El Macho something. What was that about? Something about a chicken, weirdly enough. Something okay. about a chicken. Cry Macho. Cry Macho. That was the one. Yeah. I did see it, but I can't remember it. Great. So we're but talking about three movies. Yes. Made by two guys. I know. Which I'm probably going to throw the Samaritan in there with Sly Stallone. Because he's got a new movie out. So I'm going to give that a shot. All right. But how many, literally hundreds of movies were made in the same time period that are absolute filth and trash. I and do, they're, and they're... Jack, let me, you're, you're old enough. I, I speculate this would be true about you. Do you remember when you were excited to go see the new movie in the movie theaters? Yes. Yeah. As a kid. And you're like, Oh boy, that movie is being shown in town and you'd go see it. And it's not because television and movies have become ubiquitous and they're available for free and streaming. It's just crap. It's just filth. Yeah, but the the I mean, I was excited for Endgame of the Avengers, even like, yeah, but they, they they even oh they dropped the ball on that so hard. I am very glad the Russo brothers saw what happened with Captain Marvel and like, what's the word I'm looking for? Drastically like shortened her role in Endgame because she mm -hmm. was supposed to have a bigger part in Endgame, but they just left it with the scene where Thanos. Thanos punches her in the face. What, which why was, was was that? I thought I thought Captain Marvel did very well. The movie. Yeah, there was uh, there were things going on there with the box office numbers, oh. but a lot of backlash was online, and the Russo brothers decided against it. Where it was like, yeah, that's not worth it. We build up Thor, Iron Man, and Captain America for so long, like right. over ten years, 
it was over 10 years, I believe. I think so. Yeah. 2008 was the first Iron Man, wasn't it? Yeah. Oh, the first Iron Man was so great. I Imagine remember that. that. A, a standard heroic uh, rich white male on top of it. Not, not just white male. Rich white male. Who's a little air. And a player. player. And a player. <laughs> Swing it past your knees. <laughs> It's another great movie. Like, show me, show me what we're gonna have. Another uh, Tropic Thunder. It's just not oh, gonna happen. No, oh no, no, no. What do you mean, you people? Just brilliant. <laughs> yeah, I mean, and and look, people in now Tropic Thunder. You have to have a taste. I admit that's not gonna be the most popular show ever, but it was a brilliant show. But oh my god, standard guy goes through trials and tribulations. Builds the thing, makes the stuff, comes back fighting, uh, and and is impaired because he had to have his heart thing. Uh, wow, and, and people enjoyed that. Wow, really? Well, people enjoy ice cream with chocolate syrup and sprinkles. Who knew? You know what? Let's f with that formula. No, it, I, I, I understand there might be inklings of a turnaround, or people are going to make some, uh, but I'm I'm done with it. I just. I uh, I don't. Um, it's not worth in my time. All, That's what it is. It's not worth my time. It's not worth my intellect. In in all honesty, like even now, if there were a great movie, I wouldn't go to the movie theater. Correct. I just no. I just wouldn't because first of all, it's expensive as hell. It has mm -hmm. always been, and it now got even worse. Second, mm -hmm. why would I would I can watch it for free at home? Right. Completely legal, Mister mm -hmm. CIA man. What me? Where, no, where? not you. For the people listening, oh. <laughs> you don't know that joke where people say, um, "Admit to something that might not be the um, normal route." Yeah, and then the meme is like Mr. FBI man listening in. Oh yeah, because the FBI man is always listening. He's always they listening. say no. yeah. At least I, they say he does. I, but no, I, I watch my movies completely legal. Yeah, no, I, why well, do? Because I don't want to dick around the time. Come on, what? You can't drop the three bucks to go get it on the on the internet. <laughs> Honest to God, you know, like I get a kick out of people that you know they'll they'll uh, uh, put my stuff on the internet, and I don't know if you know this about um, when people put a, a book or someone else's material, they always put it behind a paywall. You always got to log in username and password. And a lot of these times, these things are like fishing expeditions, and they're they're oh, basically yeah. yeah. And so I'm kind of like, yeah, just let that one be, because I'm mm. thinking like, okay, if you're going to use your username and password to set up an account with this fraudulent website, now they got a username and password for all your other stuff. I, I so with uh, Doug over at PirateBookTakedown.com, he kind of always stays on top of things and and purges the internet of copyright material but he's like yeah there's these fake websites where it's just pretty obviously it's a scam so i leave those be i'm like yes please do mm -hmm. but just because what you don't want to drop the five bucks it's like all right fine. <laughs> but like you mentioned just now for like trial and tribulation for that i just head to the east i just look at anime where it's like okay what did the japanese came up this time yeah and yeah. it's <clears throat> there's some good shit in there i watched black clover and the only thing i was disappointed about and you're probably going to hate me for this, but apparently it was 170 episodes. I'm like, nice. That is a full series. It has full ended. Meal, yeah. 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 It has an ending. Good. Apparently it's still running. I was like, God fucking God. I got to that? 170. I'm like, Christ. Now I have to wait. Black Clover. Is it any good? I thought it was good. I thought it was good. It was fun. Trial and tribulation. Nice characters. Things like that. Cool captain. One Punch Man level quality or One Punch Man is in all honesty a, a thing in and of itself. True. It's uh have you watched my no, it's it's not as on the nose as my hero academia, but it's not the refined taste of one punch man. Which is a weird way of describing One Punch Man. I, well, no, that's why I like One Punch Man. It didn't take itself too seriously. I want season three. Clever. Huh? I want season three. You know, it's not I, out yet. You know what I think they did with One Punch Man? Mm -hmm. Somebody got some money that they had to spend, and they said, "Ah, let's just create a wacky anime where the guy is, you know, like super powerful." <clears throat> and doesn't take himself seriously, but will spoof and mock all the other Dragon Ball Z type of, I will kick your ass. Aha, oh, level this, level that. Oh, no. All the... 
And and then in season two, they got a little bit too serious, and then they ran out of money, and they're like, I don't know if I want to do a third season. So that's that's what they did. Oh my god! Well, the nice the, uh, the the what you call it? The manga is still going. It's ramping up, I believe. But real quick, nonstop day three sixty for the two dollars. Thank you very much. Check out Baki. It's a great anime to watch. I can uh... Baki. I'm gonna write that down. Hey, did I tell is you that the guy who punches the earth and the earth cracks? I don't know. I think I've I'm seen very. That. I'm ve just as stingy as <laughs> I'm stingy with all media. And back when I was a kid, like anime was just first starting to get to the U.S. And so it was different. We thought it was great. And then you find out the Japanese churn out just garbage levels of garbage anime. Oh, and yeah. so I'm very finicky. But I'll, I don't really sample that many. So I'll have to check out. Box. Berserk is great, though. <laughs> Ever seen people, that? No, I got to. I'll go watch Berserk. I mean, let me the you like if you really want to enjoy Berserk in mm -hmm. its fullest. Mm. get the manga because apparently the 19 what was it was this in the 80s or 90s they only made an anime adaptation of like the second arc because the first arc is a bit of an introduction and then the second arc is like what happened oh, before the introduction kind of okay. thing which is absolutely fucking brutal by the way that mm. ending holy shit well if you really it for want, me no, I won't. But if you really want to like enjoy the thing, just get the manga. That requires reading. That it requires looking at pictures with text. You're looking at it wrong. Yeah, I did that as a kid with the, at the force of a gun with these Nazi concentration camp cards called teachers. I don't want to read. I I don't want to read ever again. I don't want. It's like read. the Nazgul. Yeah. <laughs> don't want to read. <laughs> Uh, black by the way, I saw so I, I got I got information that um nonstop Dre, who's been with us for like I think years now, multiple mm -hmm. years, regular commenter, da da da. And we're like, oh, where's Dre? Where's Dre? Because you know, he, he was a client and well, we've been offering to help him move and this and that. We knew generally he was moving into the Texas area. Turns out he's two miles away from Chad's candidate. Really? Yeah, I'm like, where the hell? And I was at the I was at the candidate's house. I didn't know I was two miles away from Dre. And there's a cigar lounge four miles from that. Well, thanks a lot, Dre. Thanks for letting us know where you're at. We could have all hung out. We could have worshipped his big, shiny, beautiful black penis. But, you know, <laughs> six foot tall. Six the penis. Tall. The penis, of course. <laughs> I mean, Dre himself is like what at ten. Well, 10 you know, it's 12? funny. Like you know how people get their big ass swordfish or whatever when they go fishing. Yeah. That's how he holds his penis. He's very proud oh. of him. Just to take a picture of him on a dock. <laughs> <laughs> but nobody still wants to come to visit you. Speaking of that, here yeah. I am with yeah. my good graces being like, you know what, Cappy? I might visit you next year. What do you do? Send me photos of your weird basement dwelling pets. Where it's like, really? Oh, yeah. How inviting. Wolf spiders. Sure. Yeah, those those come out. Um, <clears throat> I don't know. I'm I'm not sure why, but I'm pretty sure I got it. Um, so when you do construction, anytime you tear up the earth a little bit, uh, you disturb the creature's habitat, and then they go looking for a uh, new habitat. And so when the house was being built, uh, I saw one almost as big as that one last year. I just so people know, there's a wolf spider about that big. They have uh, been sighted in the Netherlands. Well, Great. they're they're all over the place. They they're there. You just don't see them. And the same thing with black widows. I didn't know, but black widows are all over the place. You just never see them. And so, uh, but we we uh, I had to make a retaining wall out of boulders. So I was going through my yard and picking up large rocks. And uh, when you pick up large rocks, you disturb their their habitat. And I leave the garage open to air it out. And uh, the, a big old wolf spider came in and just just sat in the corner and they're completely harmless they kill a lot of things actually and i'm like sorry buddy got to get you out of here so we I had to kill them so uh, that's not what the dutch news told us like there have been articles going around the last two to three days where it's like dangerous angry poisonous wolf spider spotted through the netherlands what wolf spider they have not? been doubling since last year it's now 500 i'm like 500 across the netherlands isn't that much like, i i'm kind of surprised they're even in the Netherlands. have they three years 
No, no, no. The articles have been popping up for three days that three they have mul- that they have doubled since mm. last year. So apparently they're so, not here that long, but they'll die in winter. That's what right. I'm saying. If they if they, if they've made it through winter, maybe that that is a hospitable climate. They're they're just look. They're just like American women, big, hairy, but harmless. Okay, they're not. They're not poisonous. <laughs> I would rather look fight at. your women. No, I I'd rather just honestly. I felt bad killing the guy because I'm like, man, look, like he was a champion. He was a big one, you know. And you're like, man, you you were kind of the alpha spider, you know. Why didn't you just like grab a sheet of paper, a glass, like get it, and just put it outside? I because I don't want him around. Uh, I don't want him coming back. Uh, you know, that's what I usually do when, because yeah. then it will tell its friends where it's like, no, that guy, that guy didn't kill me. So we're going to leave him alone. It's like, I, good. I, I have made friends. I have made I, allies. I have now I, an I, army of spiders at my will. It's like, right. An <laughs> army of spiders. <laughs> I wish that would be nice. Like, Hey, you guys there. <laughs> yeah, I, I'll tell you though. The one you got to look out for is that black widow. Uh, cause I've found like three of them on my property. That what that's what scares me because they're smaller, obviously. And, and they're kind of hidden poisonous and they're, they're poised. They'll put you in the hospital or at least make you feel bad. And so, uh, yeah, that I, those I'm very, I was like cleaning out the garage spraying. If you come, if, if you ever visit my place, the garage is very clean. Like there's no dust in the corners in the house. There's like, nope, there's no, no spider food here. So I make, okay. I, I go out of my way to make sure the spiders don't come in. Okay. I, I appreciate that. Dre with the two bucks. Thank you very much. I'm busy working 80 hours of security this week. You yeah, see, what about the previous 51 weeks in the past year? <laughs> why are why, you you're always 80 hours where you couldn't stop and say hi? We couldn't stop and visit and say hello? Wait, like I just said, why not catch the spiders and name them after us? I should do that. That'd be cool. And mail them to you. No. How about yeah. no? Yeah. No. I hey, don't you know want it. You know what's great? that we, Now that we know that Dre is in Texas, hmm. he too can uh, get on the mail cappy rooster booster light bandwagon. He can he can mail me rooster booster light. That'd be good. What's that? A soda? A drink. Yeah. Do you know about that? That's like my favorite uh, energy drink. And it's only available in certain parts of the United States. Texas oh. being one of them. And so I'm always enlisting uh, Chad, the candidate, uh, some fans in Iowa to kind of mail me supplies, of which I'll gladly pay for your time and all that. But it's the bestest, most awesomest power drink ever. Nice. It's just they don't have it out here. So uh, yeah. Pepsi Max Vanilla for me. Still it. I saw a friend of what? mine wants to get Dr. Pepper Light so bad. And I saw it at the grocery store when we were in Philly. But then I remember that when you get to the airport, you can't bring liquids. You can't bring liquids. No, no. <sighs> I, what, what, why, why Dr. Pepper Light? What's wrong? Don't Apparently, you guys have your own? Really Isn't likes Fanta a big thing over in Europe? Isn't that your Yeah, but thing? like, uh, yeah, I don't know. Not a big fan of Fanta. And oh. in all honesty, I like the diet sodas. They're Just not like bad. Yeah. No, no, no. They're pretty great. They're a great substitute for the original. I don't get why people don't drink them more. And the aspartame, it's not true. Seriously, go read that. What, it's it, like, what else do our American women have to kvitch and bitch and whine about? You. They, they gotta. <laughs> oh my God, that chemical. Oh my God. Me, meanwhile, mocha latte frappiato noch what. I don't know what it's called. It, yeah, exactly. Well, and then th- the other thing is I get a kick out of the gal. Like, what about this? What about this? What about this? It's like, if you quit bitching about it, your husband will live longer than even if he consumes all this crap. But just, yeah, it, that's, that's what they're supposed to do. Get a job and raise the children and hit the gym. It's How much better. You. Like I saw, they say. They say. They say. Speaking of disappointment, there was another thing your beautiful United States do- disappointed the European about. Uh, the Baconator. We... What was that? A dessert? No, it was a sandwich at Wendy's. Yeah. Christ. What? what? Small. You, you wanted to have it? I did have it. It was oh. small. Yeah, it's about it that big. satiating. Yeah. What is this? You called it that, the Baconator. That, I was no, expecting you, you American the, portions. Do you know the history of the Big Mac? The history history no. of the Big Mac and McDonald's. You know McDonald's, right? Y- yes. Okay. I and am well have, educated in I, the- I don't know. <laughs> European education. And they the the Big Mac, that's their kind of flagship uh burger that they're known for. Mm-hmm. Okay. <clears throat> well, back I I thought maybe I was just getting bigger, but I remember back in the day 
when McDonald's was a treat, you'd, you'd be happy with a burger. But if you were rich, you got the Big Mac. And I remember, I don't know if it was my uncle or somebody bought me a Big Mac. I wanted one. And I could barely get it in my mouth. It was huge. Now, as time had gone on and you get a little bit of money and then McDonald's kind of didn't become as expensive. It wasn't the, um, the uh, treat that it was. Mm -hmm. You'd eat more regularly at McDonald's. So I remember being able to finish a Big Mac with one hand driving my car to Chicago. And I remember I was like 25 maybe at the time. I was like, this is um, I remember when when I couldn't finish one of these. They, they I must have had it when I was a lot younger. Well, it turns out the Big Mac sandwich was much bigger back when it first came out, literally twice the size of what it is now. And McDonald's in pure American capitalism cheating form whittled mm. down this and whittled down that, and the burger patty is about that thick. And I'm sure Wendy's being a fast food restaurant, it's the same thing. The Baconator, it's a nice big picture, and it's just a little dinky sandwich. Yeah, that's that's what they're doing. Yep. Do they have the uh, McTasty where you're at as well at McDonald's? I think probably. I haven't been to McDonald's in years. Or what's that thing called? The McRib? It's a pretty good, no, not the McRib. It's a pretty good thing. It had black Angus beef on it. What's that thing called? Might have been the McTasty. Yeah, something like that. It's a, it was actually pretty good. And then Burger King had something with Black Angus, and I was like, this is not Black Angus. Have you ever had Black Angus beef? Uh, no, no. Is it good? Oh, Cappy. Okay, maybe oh, I yeah. have. I don't know. I don't, I'm don't. i not that uh, astute a student of my diet as you are. Oh, no, but Black Angus beef. Yes. Just, yes. If, okay. if I were... A millionaire. Maybe one day when I narrate one of your books again and mm -hmm. it it's sells to everybody in the world. Yes. I would get a 2.2 pound black Angus steak. Okay. Just, it is black Angus is amazing. Black Anus. Got it. Black Angus. Angus. Oh, Angus. Oh, like <laughs> no, I thought God, black Anus was amazing. Me. Man, Jack sure <laughs> likes his black anus. That's... Hey, Dre, don't I, put it in the Netherlands. Stay I fell right into hey. that one. Okay, you got me. You got me. God damn it. Was there a topic? Was this just was this just the shoot around show? Uh, a little bit of both. I mean, oh. uh, you're in a podcast with me. It's gonna go everywhere. everywhere. Yeah, yeah. But there was one thing I was gonna uh, was going to ask you. But it's a bit of a downer topic. Because I'm so happy and optimistic, right? It's going to be 88 I, degrees here. I, I'm, I'm not, always I'm not happy, happy right now, so we might as well get it out. Right? So. I'm always happy when I talk to you. You are, you, you are. Yeah, but topics aren't happy. You never get me down. So I think you're a very happy person to talk to. I mean, your last rant when we talked was about not getting ice cream. I mean, this man has everything. His biggest problem is not getting ice cream. Really? Mm-hmm. I mean, my what my biggest problem, mean? my biggest problem right now is the temperature, and that's going to go away. And then, <laughs> then it will it will revert back to ugly people in South Dakota. That will be my next biggest problem. That, that was your own fault. Who wrote reconnaissance, man? I no, I knew full well what I was getting into. I I I didn't come here for the people. Like, or I mean, the people are in terms of politics better, obviously. But I didn't come here to like look at hot chicks. I, I knew that. <laughs> You have to get them on the wall. I um I used to have one client. He is in the chat. I won't say his name, but by God, that man was awesome. He was uh we had a video chat, and behind him were just rows of anime waifus. <laughs> and he, that was one like boss move he made. He finished the rational mail, so he had a copy of Rolo's book. Oh yeah. With all the in ones. front of all the waifus. <laughs> like just finished this chap. It's like Bravo. <laughs> owning it owning it just perfect i really like that guy we still talk but um okay what i wanted to get into a um, bit of a downer topic but hear me out on this one and don't don't go ranting on me on this one okay right. do you um acknowledge that emotional slash psychological abuse exists yes okay good yeah. So I was having this conversation with a girl a while back, and I still couldn't really find an answer. It was a very pleasant conversation. It really got me thinking. So she has a um, transgender friend, 
I was thinking about, can I get around that? No, she has a transgender friend, but in all honesty, he's not really putting an effort. If you know what I mean? It's Hold like, it. I'm a she. Hold no, you're not. Hold it's it. like, no, you're not. Oh, he's, 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 uh, he's mailing it in. He's not trying. Yeah. To I, I, I was well. like, even, like, even a friend of mine, like try harder. Right. Okay. <laughs> like, <laughs> right. Right. I got it. But out of decency, because like I was, uh, with her and associates of her, I, of course, like well-mannered, just said she fine. You're the I'm guest. Not gonna st I'm the guest, yes. therefore right. I will adapt. Right. But later on, we were talking about it. I'm like, if I wasn't your guest, I would have not gone along with it. She's like, okay, why not? I'm like, well, I'm giving in to an illusion that is just against reality. Mm -hmm. And then she was like, well, what if you're, um, what if you're hurting the person? I'm like, well, feelings get hurt all the time. Right. That doesn't mean I should deny reality just because of that. Plus, the person can walk away from it. She's like, yeah, that is true. However, you are still like, um, not quote unquote hurting, like uh, for lack of better term, hurting the person's feelings. I'm like, well, yes, like at a certain point, you have to live with the fact that if you're going to be honest, you're going to hurt somebody's feelings. Mm -hmm. Plus, it has to do with a certain way of free speech. She was like, yes, but what if in that case you're, again, like hurting that person? It's like, well, it's not like I'm abusing her. She's like, well, psychological abuse is a thing. Now, away from the transgender person, yeah. it did get me thinking like, okay, so where does free speech end and psychological abuse begin that cut your uh i think you um <clears throat> what's the word i'm looking for you are defining psychological abuse wrong i'm listening the the and what we're really the the fine but very important difference is between facts and feelings mm -hmm. uh psychological abuse or mental abuse is where you purposely harm the person's emotions or mental state either out of malice because you want to hurt them or because it's to your advantage and you don't care if you hurt them mm -hmm. all right <clears throat> to benefit you in some ego aggrandizement way that is not what you were doing you no. were simply saying this is a lie and I like you had no mail. You didn't hate this person, no, no, no. right? No, that, that's no. exactly what what I said to her. And she and I agreed upon later on where I mentioned, well, if I were to like chase that person and continuously mispronounce her. Yeah. Then, mis it's then, yeah. then it's malicious. And right. then we're getting into to, into the territory of psychological mental abuse. Right. But just a factual statement and then removing myself from the equation, that would not um, equate to no. psychological abuse. No, and, the, and, the, and let's be very clear. <clears throat> the origins of this problem, I'm going to speculate. Not, I'm going to speculate this person is not actually trans. And I'm sorry, Me neither. For, for, I'm going to say for 90% of you who claim to be trans, 90% of you are faking it for attention and you have nothing else going on in your life. They're the new with, emo kids. With, yeah. I mean, and, and there are legit trans people, just there's legit Asperger's and autists, but most of you are just faking it because you don't want to work hard. That's, that's just the simple boiled down version. But let us assume that is true, that this person is faking it. <clears throat> um, in lying to himself or herself, uh, and the rest of the world. Now it forces the rest of society to indulge this person in the lie. And one might argue, you know, is that psychological or emotional abuse to society? Like this person is forcing people to live and dance around this lie. It, not really, but it makes it, it now enforces a discomfort upon you at your expense or a chore an inconvenience. You're annoyed. I mean, this isn't like you're going to cry yourself to sleep, but it is kind of a form of emotional, a very light version of emotional abuse or mental abuse where I'm going to force you to indulge me in this lie and play make-believe.
Mm-hmm. I mean, you, you don't need to go see the shrink, but it is a cost. Like when I got to act like, oh, all the income disparities between the black community and Asians and whites is because of racism and not well, as a group, you make poorer decisions and thus you you pay for it. All right. I got to play. That is a mental bird and a mental tax, not really abuse. But you can see where the person made a choice to lie. And now the whole world now has to react to this lie, has the, res- the true responsibility of reacting to this lie. A truly caring person would say, no, that's a lie. You're not transsexual or, or, or transgender. No, mm-hmm. you're not poor because of the white man. You are faking it. So you get attention. And you had three kids out of wedlock that you couldn't afford. <laughs> here's here's the thing. What is more caring? Well, the honesty, of course. The honesty, right. Because I'm going, assuming that person is faking it, all right, that person, if they keep up the lie, is going to ruin their lives. And hurting one's feelings or pe- putting, putting people in a uh, taxing or painful mental state is not bad. If the reason that if you're trying to help them and the problem or the situation they're in is by a consequence of their own actions and you're trying to correct them, it's and all of this I was saying is there's this thing I call the reality principle. You then live in reality and you don't. And the further away you get away from reality, the worse your life gets. The closer your decisions are in reality, the more accurate decisions are and therefore more effective your decisions are and therefore you, you do better. Mm -hmm. Anyone trying to convey the truth to a person, no matter how much it hurts their fifis or their mental pain, that is better than keeping them up with the lie. One, because you're not malicious, you're noble. And two, it's in their best interests. So it's a matter of perspective on intent. And 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 efficacy. Like Mm -hmm. what's the end goal? And who's guilty of of who committed the original sin? This person faking being transgender. That's the, that's the person who who mm. put well, this paradox in front of everybody. But even if so, that was my humble opinion on. Yeah, I'm not buying it. So right. even that is very subjective. So mm-hmm. even if he who now wants to be called she is real, mm-hmm. then even if I would say, well, apologies. However, you have not been transitioned. What you are telling me now is not in line with reality. I shall not use the pronoun she. I will say he. And then one could say, well, you're hurting someone's feelings. Now, my if intent, they're legit, yeah. My intent in that thing, in that interaction would be not to harm the person, more mm-hmm. that like putting my foot down, where it's like, no, this is reality. I refuse to play with it mm-hmm. or to play along with you. And since you want to keep this up, I'm just removing myself from the interaction. Right. So in that case, mm-hmm. since we've got the intent down or the motivation of my behavior, we can honestly say that is not a case of psychological abuse. No, however, no, 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 no. However, if I were to say or were to continue interacting with that person and purposefully right. mispronoun that person just for the sake of mispronouning, that, however, does cross the line. Yeah, you're trying to hurt that person, yes. So it right. is indeed a case of like motivation and, uh, yeah, Res- <laughs> here, here it's, it's ultimately responsibility <clears throat> yeah. of, of every individual to be intellectually honest with themselves. It, let's say I am truly transgender, okay, and I'm going uh, Wouldn't be surprised. With the, uh, <laughs> you know. Vince does have a nice ass. He does have a nice ass. I get that Italian ass. Uh, for whatever reason, I'm I'm legit transgender. I don't feel and and I am now. It's incumbent upon me to present myself to the real world as such. Now, maybe I just started transitioning and I look like a guy. And you'd be honest, like, yeah, I know I don't look it, but for whatever reason, it would what and it would also be incumbent upon me. Like, this is somewhat of an iffy, you know, sensitive topic. It's uncomfortable. I should have respect for the rest of society. And I was like, hey, everybody, I'm trans. You know, that that would be rude. But let's say legit. Okay, now, if I'm going to transition, 
I got to make a good effort into it. Like I should take the hormones, put on, you know, present as a woman. Um, so just cause that's, that's what I claim I'm, I'm doing. And except for the actual transition time where I'm like, well, I'm in the middle of transitioning and da da da. And then being honest with people. <clears throat> and then it's up to people to, you know, like, Oh, that's honest. Um, uh, and, and just, we go about our day because ultimately your traits don't freaking matter. And then we talk about, I don't know, soccer or whatever, whatever your big titted anime waifus. Good. Right, whatever the topic is, we're all, we're all. And now <clears throat> we are fellow human beings having a conversation regardless of our actual sexuality. Um, but if you're not in the middle, like this guy's just mailing it in again, you're, you're kind of lying. You're kind of making well, a mistake. So the reason I had that idea, because first of all, like it wasn't very convincing. And even like my friend, makeup and he had a beard. Was that he didn't even have makeup. Like even my friend was like, yeah, you know what, mate, if you want to sell this, try harder because no. But the weird thing was later on, there was also this thing where uh, he had blonde hair and we were playing a game I'm like, yeah, blondie over there, uh, blah, blah, blah. And he, she mentioned, no, my hair is pink. I'm like, now you're fucking with me. Yeah, that is not pink. Right? No. Who no, 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 no. <laughs> so, so here I would argue this: that person is evil. That person is causing psychological abuse, causing mental abuse, emotional abuse. Not in a I'm maybe he, she was kidding. He's lying. He's playing the point, game. Yeah. yeah. At that there point, are, I was kind of like, now you're fucking with me. Yeah. There are five lights. Yeah. Remember that the 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 Star Trek episode. I've. You're going to hate me for this. I've never yeah. seen Star Trek. Any well, that's of fine. It. Yeah, that, that's right. Uh, it, it's they're torturing Jean-Luc Picard, the captain of, of the uh, other Enterprise. Mm -hmm. And um, <clears throat> there's five lights. And the guy's torturing and says, how many lights are there? And he says, uh, there are. I'm sorry, there are four lights. And the guy says, how many lights are there? And Jean-Luc Picard says, there's four. And he zaps them. He's like, what? No, there are five. And Luke is looking around for a fifth light. There's not, there's not five lights. There's four. And so that's the whole thing. And in the end, Jean-Luc Picard gets liberated. He says, there are four lights. And <clears throat> when someone tries two. to, yeah. Two plus two is five. Remember yeah. that? And, and so <laughs> if, if, so, oh no, I have, was he joking? Or? No, it's, um, you know, that two plus two is five from 1984. Yeah. They bring him to the torture chamber at a certain no, no, point. No, 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 no. I mean, the, the guy, the, the transitioning guy. I don't know. Like that that blonde part, that might have been some weird fucking joke, like, but it was very convincing. Okay. Yeah. Like, then no, yeah, it's no, he, it's like, so, so who's the abuser here? Someone that like, who who's lying and who's the abuser? Some fat, loud chick in the United States saying, I'm big, is beautiful, and you better worship me, and you have a problem. Beauty is a social construct. Who's the bad who's the bad guy there? Probably her managers, but I'll give it to okay, her. Okay, yeah, but it, it's her. It's it's the one lying. It's like, no. Mm -hmm. And that's the one. So I it keep in mind lying is 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 a form of abuse because you're one trying to get something out of other people, or you're forcing them to do the mental acrobatics of tolerating something that is not true. It's gaslighting. I, uh, whatever that is. I've never understood that concept, um, but okay, whatever so, it is, it's it, it's malicious. Yeah. No concept. Yeah. I never understood it either, but it's actually pretty simple. It is that thing where it's like you uh, address somebody about something that happened. That mm -hmm. never happened. Yes, it did. Because, okay. No, no, it never happened. I, yeah. They're like blatantly ignoring reality and they mm -hmm. make you think you're the one who's insane. I, okay, maybe that's why I don't understand gaslighting because I know when I've been lied to and I never like, who was I? That happened one time with this girl I dated where I kept second guessing myself. I'm like, oh no, she's just a lying bitch. And then, and then that's, and then I'm like, oh yeah, here's, you want to hear my next book, Jack? Am I going to narrate it? You're going to love it. Yeah, Ooh. it's true. It's called everyone's an asshole except me. And it's a hundred percent true. Most most people are assholes. They're liars, and oh, I'm the dick because I don't go along with the game and I don't wear the shoes. And are you kidding now, or is this real? No, no, I'm, oh. I'm, I'm not going to actually write a book. Everyone's an asshole, but me. 
Well, that might be the ending book, like when I'm about to die and I close up asshole consulting. Maybe that would be like the the book of asshole consulting is everyone's an asshole but me. Where and they after, say I'm self righteous. Well, no, but it would be true where you go through and I and I point out like, look, I'm I'm called the asshole only because I tell the truth. That makes all you guys the assholes who believe in this bullshit. Like you gotta, yeah, you gotta major in this. You're great and amazing because you vote female, whatever it is. You donate to charity. Like you're all a bunch of fucking liars and and, and, and assholes. Mm -hmm. Um, you know, even going back into school, like, oh, you were the cool kids because you wore that shirt, huh? No, you're an asshole. You know? mm -hmm. So I mean, it's going on on a government level right now. Like, in we're not in a right. recession. <laughs> That is guys gaslighting. That's, That's gaslighting. That's, yeah. Hey, did you see the video Gazprom put out? Gazprom? Gazprom is Russia's uh gas company. The no, largest I did gas not see that. So they put a it's just to um I don't speak Russian, but it's like um not emotional, but kind of serious, esoteric Russian music, kind of uh, and it just shows they they turn off the valve <laughs> and then the pressure gauge goes down and it's just cold and there's <laughs> steam coming off the frozen river and people are freezing and it's just russian singing in the background it was Dude, brilliant the seriously europe is fucked and oh, we have a so we have a new minister of finance right now. She's a total How pretty witch. is she? Is she? Oh, uh, she's she a witch. Yeah. Okay. okay. Uh, I'll put it in the private chat. You can look her up because I'm not spelling this for you. There we what go. What did the super chat say? You didn't read the super chat. Yeah, that that's coming. Alex Patino oh, for the five dollars. Oh, okay. Thank we'll you very much. Later. All right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now that we have inflation and with everything getting expensive, the law of shrinkflation is taking yes. effect. Yep. That grocery store is doing. Uh, fast food is mm -hmm. doing it. Uh, smaller portions at the same price. Yeah, that's how they get away with it. And thank you very much for the five dollars, Alex. He's he's almost what? there. Well, Alex? losing the weight. Yeah. Oh yeah, he's uh, he's yeah he's one of your students. Yeah, yeah. Now, one of my clients. It's it's awesome. Like was a was interesting. Like him being on the road so much, but we're getting there. It's awesome. And he's putting in the work. His, did you hurt his feelings when you told him that he had? No. Oh no. You know why? Because he's a man. He's a man. <laughs> he is though. Jesus Christ. What? Yeah. He served. Military. Yeah, he served. Oh, he's damn. Better yeah, no, he's better way better than us. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he's very humble too, by the way. Very great guy. But right, what, what was I about me, to show say? Show me this. Yeah, S Screed Keg. Wow, with a name Secret like that. Secret Oh, what is she fat? Like no, 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 no. She's actually oh, pretty thin. God, big. you want to talk about um. What's it called? Physiognomy? Mm. You know how your looks tell you everything? Yeah. Yeah, mm. she's married to. Oh, God. Oh, oh no. Look she... at that. Oh, what, a... what was her husband again? I, I can't uh, remember. Some Middle Eastern dude. Yeah, that was it. She hates straight white men. She, and blah, oh, blah, yeah. Blah. You and could tell. Oh, like, yeah. During the last elections, her, she had a cousin or something somewhere on the uh, Dutch public. Palestinian Trans Authority Deputy Minister. Oh, wow. Mm. She does hate Western civilization. Okay. She is now the Minister of Finance in the Netherlands. I'm sure all the mom, she, she knows what she's doing. Yeah. Oh, she does. But she had whatever. She had ties within the Dutch broadcasting uh, services. And they made a documentary about her just around the corner of elections. How about just how around the... Uh, no, about how uh, there is a scene in there how a lot of people just suffer from white straight syndrome. It's like, Jesus Christ. She is now the second uh, in command in the Netherlands. You know what her her biggest worry was about the coming gas crisis? Uh, how women would be affected most poorly. No, that My we should be affected. Poorly. No, that we oh. should not let the climate suffer. Under these new gas, uh, I'm sure whatever. She has a nice, warm, heated house. Uh, oh, she probably has. But we have to consider whatever we do, climate comes first. It's like people soon will not have a climate. Like family climate, social climate. Shh, We're not having it. I don't care. I have my solar panels. I have my wood burning stove. <laughs> and th looking at that woman's face, 
how miserable is her life? Like there is not, look, we, we went through trials and tribulations. You had a, a, your obviously alcohol mom and trial and poverty, but then like you go on masculine geek. You had a good time in Philly, right? I had a great time. Right. Do you think this girl ever get woman ever gets out and has a grand old time or is she just perpetually pissed off about the environment and, and to think of the levels of, of, uh, uh, gymnastics you gotta get yeah but warp thinking like truly sick thinking like i gotta we gotta worry about we shouldn't have an environment meanwhile everyone's gonna freeze i just i know she's got money i know she hates oh, yeah. all the people in europe Dude. just let her hate just let her be miserable the, the amount of ministers that have been caught with um overseas or bank accounts oh. is is tremendous where it's like really you're you're gonna complain about the taxes of the middle class go fuck yourself it's like but, really but she, my my point is she could have all the money in the world just look at she her she will never be happy no she will never i'm not i'm not saying that because i want it to be true but holy shit what and she could have been pretty she you know at one time maybe i she think was, when she was oh, young she actually she looked pretty good blonde hair blue eyes not that i'm a big blonde hair blue eyes fan but um she she looks like she was in shape and and it, it let me ask you this what did she miss out on guarantee she missed out on it because she's already she's yeah I, she, maybe she has kids maybe she doesn't but she didn't raise them she didn't spend any time with them she's my age that you know oh. to get to that level she had outsourced those damn kids she didn't have kids Oh yeah, absolutely. God, what was it? There was something else. What was it? I was laughing my ass off about this. Um, God, what was the headline again? People will soon not be able to send their children to daycare anymore. Where it's like, oh, oh no, <laughs> like that that Captain Kurt meme. Like, I was like, oh, no, you have to raise them yourself, by God. So I send it to my trad friends where it's like, hey, read this. Oh, we were having a laugh. Think about that, Jack. I know. They are lit. We're not, this is not a joke. It isn't shtick. I'm not. It's stretching it out. <clears throat> Women in the West are upset because they can't afford to pay someone else to take care of their children. Look, that pity. That is how fucked the human psychology is in the West. You are pissed because you can't pay someone else to take care of your children. I I can't make you more miserable. I could not ask for a better vengeance or revenge. And here's the other thing, Jack. Okay, so we're going to deny love and family and children and all that. Do you know what the icing on the cake is? Like already... You are depriving yourself of what will have would have given you love, purpose, meaning in life. What is going to be the icing on the cake? I'll give you a hint. 30 years from now. Oh, they're going to die alone? These There is no family. Oh, you got oh, yeah. children. But let's just... Let's just assume they even grow up right, which they won't. So they're already a mental problem, going to be a financial liability and a mental liability, which will already uh, 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 stress the relationship. When you are old and you want grandma time, ain't going to happen. Your kids aren't going to want to have anything to do with you. And if they do, they're not going to be anything you want to have around you either. Oh, what was that? Like, this is a long time ago, but this reminds me of something. By the way, ever read The Boy Crisis? By Dr. Warren Farrell. Oh, Great oh, book. I don't want to read it. Oh, I'm sorry for thinking you're an intellectual. <laughs> so busy writing books. I am just so busy. Okay, so, All right. But I, I remember an interview Tristan Tate did with some girl. And she was a, a bit up in it where it's like, oh, but I'm a successful lawyer and blah, 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 blah. And Tristan looks at her and she's like, I live in Romania, in wherever in Romania. Mm -hmm. And there is this woman who had X amount of kids who have about a hundred grandkids together. Are you telling me that woman is less successful than you? Mm. And she just stared at him like, like your degree will not hold your hand when you die. <laughs> but see, and this is, this is the, maybe there's a word for it. If I was better, paraphrasing, by the way, paraphrasing. Right, maybe, maybe someone smarter than us, more educated than us could tell us, 
it's kind of be careful what you wish for, <clears throat> but there is a, a, uh, built in retributive balancing aspect of the pendulum swinging back that brings justice and equilibrium and balance back to the decisions. Uh, I guess poetic justice is the closest thing I can think of, but I am thoroughly enjoying what like, yeah, we got it. And I, I hate to boil it down this much. Yes, we got it. Ladies, you don't like us. You prefer work. You prefer taxes. You prefer yourselves. You prefer things. You don't love your children, but I am because I'm of the age now watching my generation turn into spinsters. And it is so enjoyable. It, it is um, it is an acquired taste. It's a tragedy. But I so thoroughly enjoy watching this happen because the gals my age are in their 50s and 40s. Mm -hmm. And they all the bravado, all the bullshit, mm -hmm. they're, they're miserable. They're just miserable. You could see it. And so I, I just kind of enjoy it now. Well, I get that. But like two things about that is mm -hmm. what I'm noticing a lot of is that it's not that women don't like men. They actually kind of do. But it's that internal struggle of biology and brainwashing. Where yeah. it's like, like I want to be manhandled, but I've been told I'm strong and independent. And it's like they they are continuously struggling. Oh, like just you, you get what they say and you get how they act out. It's way I've had that on dates where it's like they say something and I just laugh a bit. It's like, why are you laughing? Oh, you'll find out. <laughs> but, I, I, uh... and, on. The second thing is, I mean, don't you have the most ever loving girlfriend ever? Yeah, more or less. Like, yeah. Is she, is she one of those wretched harlots? Oh God, no, no, no. She's very traditional. Um, yeah, no, I, 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 I got that, and I'm happy about it. I'm, I'm just saying from an academic intellectual standpoint, it's almost, it's almost a personal. Has nothing to do. Per, although I guess mm. consider if your dating background is anything, you, you would probably have a somewhat of a psychological tie to it no i just i enjoy seeing hypocrisy it, it's it's the same thing as like the student loan bailouts obviously everyone should be very pissed off about it but oh, yeah. let's say you're a 40 year old and you're excited you're going to get 10 grand from joe biden all right what follow through on my logic jack what should we conclude from that about that person why should we rejoice they haven't accomplished shit and like I'm I'm not where I want to be, but at least I don't have student debt up the wazoo. Here and think about this. What kind of person are you that you're 40 years old and you're excited about ten thousand dollar bailout of a student loan you accrued over 20 years ago? You're useless. I'm sorry, but no, it's right. And what's your life like? It must be terrible. It's gotta be terrible. And <clears throat> as I'm facing down the last half, last third of my life. I am realizing just how many people, at least my generation and, and older generations, have just completely squandered the one thing they got, and that is their life. And so, okay, you got your offshore accounts, and ooh, you're edgy, and you're the finance minister, or you're a lawyer and all that. It's like you played the wrong game, and you you lost at life. It was called life, not work. It was called life, but you want nothing to do with it. And you are right. I, I don't think women hate guys. Um, I think women generally like guys, but they are not, when it comes to dating, they're only interested in, I'm going to say now the top 10% of guys. The rest of the guys are kind of background filler and like, well, I, I don't hate wiener dogs, but you know, it's not, I need a German shepherd or whatever. What was her name again? Elise? Who? Your wiener dog. Louise. Yeah. Louise. 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 Yeah, <clears throat> she uh, she shall be missed. <laughs> yeah, yo, terribly, terribly. Um. Anyway, uh, where's it going with this? Um, they have been playing the wrong game. They don't realize they're playing the wrong game until it's too late. And oh, the the conflict that they have. Um, I think because of their conditioning, and I also would say their genetics and their biology, and now that they don't need a man, they are only settling for the very top tier of guys and consequently ruining their lives in combination with the pursuit of materialism, which is ultimately themselves is ultimately what a career in education is all about. <clears throat> mm -hmm. And I, maybe you seem to have more of a, a soul than I do here. I'm, I'm enjoying watching it. Because 
at the end of the day, I got a good girl. I get to play video games. I'm in my pajamas. You and I get to have great conversation. We get to make penis jokes about TJ. We get to go on an adventure and have a good old time. And at the end of our lives, which it all ends, that, that uh, was it, Sigrid Kag, Vermin, what did she get? Oh, she got to sit in a bunch of meetings and deal with assholes all her life. Do, do power struggle. It's like, hey, yay. Hey, Sig, you won, sweetheart. You got, oh, you a lawyer? You won. Oh, yeah. did you? But, no, you're, you're 100% right. The, the thing is, though, about that part that I might have a bit of more than soul than you, I do pity girls. It, let's be honest here. Most guys aren't to write home about either. No, no, I agree like, with you. I'm, I'm 32 right now, and most guys think I'm 25. Mm -hmm. And I can't blame him because your average 32-year-old really looks like shit. <laughs> it's like, dude, just strongless five by five. God, get on it. Just put the put the sugar down, whatever. Nope. So it's not like they have you can't really blame them for wanting the so-called top 20%. No, I understand. They're attracted to what they're attracted to. I got it. Yep. yep. Yeah. But, but what like do men do? Oh yeah, that they don't need them and blah blah blah. And and to be if you're be sensitive, mm. a Democrat or a socialist, I it I got my own life hiking, doing thing, you know, cappy things. Mm -hmm. But man, I really enjoy watching the news, like in this regard, just watching the the sexes decay and fall oh. apart. It's wonderful. Speaking about like what we were talking about, Western media and things like that, I don't know if you've been keeping a pulse on this. It's absolutely terrible. But apparently Marvel had a show about She-Hulk, which in the comics yeah, was yeah, a pretty cool do, character. They do have a – it is a show. They, yeah. They it's they now have a show about it, and it was written by these, fi by these five cat ladies, wine uh -huh. aunts, and it just shows in the series, and it is absolutely terrible. The ratings are horrible. Oh, it's yeah. losing money, and it, it is filled with – Oppression everywhere and blah blah I, I blah. I watched the critical oh. drinker. He's reviewed yeah. it. it. It's a, it's <laughs> um. They're spanking it in public in public media. Yeah. Oh but, yeah. Um, it's it's like really like why is anime winning? Well, maybe first of all they get their demographic, which is mostly straight white men. Mm -hmm. And what even though in all honesty, <laughs> <laughs> I looked up. I looked up um the writers? writers. Jessica Gao. Just this fat, <laughs> ugly woman. Um, hang on, let me let me look up the different writers here. This is hilarious. See, and they don't realize that they're in that they're they're um impugning themselves. Mm -hmm. You know that they're uh they're mocking themselves. Um, let me go. Action of a creator, Jessica Gao, stars. Um, where do you get the writers? Probably um, Google images. Oh yeah, if you oh my god, if you look at the interview, yeah. Gals, do you know you're a, a stereotype? Like you're a what's the word I'm looking for? A meme. You're yeah, they're a meme. They don't realize they're a meme. There's here's this thing, IMBD on the scene, and it's a bunch of 40 and 50 something women, and it's like it's over. Um I just want to see who the writers are. Yeah, or what, maybe that is the staff. Maybe I misspoke, but it's like this group of wine aunts. Don't know if you know the term. Yeah, like, no, yeah, yeah it is. It is Dana Schwartz. Let me take a look at Dana Schwartz. I don't look the same. I don't. I don't know what she. Um, here are photos. Dana Schwartz. Okay. Uh. Uh. It's um. Oh, 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 oh. It, there's three women here. I don't know which one it is, but. Oh, she's the one off there. She's okay looking. I, I do want to bless your day with something else, though. Since you're looking at actresses. Yeah. No, these are the writers. These are the writers. Yeah, okay. Sorry, uh, the writers. I was watching a film today, Spider Heads. It's actually a pretty good film. There was an actress in there, and my jaw just dropped. Oh? Okay, Tess. T-E-S-S. -S. Oh, hang on. Let me look it up. I don't need to look. It. Okay. Uh, hang on. Wait. Let me get one more. Let me get one more. Uh, <clears throat> Melissa Hunter. Let me look up Melissa Hunter. Yeah, okay. <laughs> I, I'm, I, I hope you gals had fun writing crap. 
I'm glad you're writing crap and not raising your families or having fam. I'm just so happy. All right. Let's do this test. And then Haubrich. So H A U B R I C H. Australian actress. Yep. Tess Haubrich. This doesn't look good. No, wait. You need to have a good photo. Go to Google Images. You'll see. Honestly, dude, it looks like a guy. It nope. looks like a guy. What? This is. She looks like um, Vesper from the from the James Bond. Yeah, Vesper oh looked great. No, no, what, what, no. Okay, what do you mean I, Vesper I, didn't look great? Ava Green oh, I, is one of no, the hottest I, actresses. No, she's not. Okay, you, you obviously have different tastes than me. Uh, wow. Okay, hang on, hang on. <laughs> Don't get the bad photo. Get the good one. Oh, I can't. This is hilarious. What? Hang on. I'm putting this in the the chatty room. The, you tell me. I put the good photo in. <laughs> they took a female body and put a horse's face on it. That that gal? Let's see. Why are you getting the horrible photos? <laughs> That's what she okay, scroll like. down. Scroll down. The one in the tank top. The tank top. And, and the leopard skin uh, tight yeah. trousers. Okay, I'm looking. Um, No. I'm looking at all these. No. God, what is wrong with you? I do what like do you guys. Mean? Come on, let's just no. admit. Look, here, Jack, we're hold not on. Judge. We just had a conversation about being honest. Do you like dudes? No. Here, hold are on. The, are these 20 yeah. plus women you've banged? Are they, uh, do they look like they got good Adam's apple? They look like Jamie Lee Curtis? No, hold on. Here. And what's wrong with Ava Green? Jack likes here, dudes. This photo. I just send it to you. In this the photo. Moods for the dudes. <laughs> What's yeah. wrong with Ava Green? Really? There's nothing wrong with Ava Green. It's just she's not that hot. Hang on, let me look at Ava Green again. I mean, she's a she's an okay looking gal. In in Casino Royale? She looked yeah. amazing. Yeah. Uh. Google does not have the best pictures of her. I'll give her that. I, just because they're not that good looking. In in Casino Royale, she was absolutely stunning. She was not absolutely stunning. She was purposely picked because of her masculine features. She's supposed to be an accountant. She, I'm not sure she's unattractive. She's just not. <clears throat> Hang on. Let me see if Dita Von Teese has aged well. No. Um, no, she hasn't. She hasn't? Hang no. on. Now let me type in Dita Von Teese today. Dita Von Teese today. She looks all right. I mean, I got to get a picture. I mean, I don't know how old these are, how much makeup she has. She's getting a little... Oh, did she get a nose job? I don't know. Did she? I oh, think remember she did. remember the actress I sent you? The one who works in the uh, in the workshop on her car? What's her name? I don't Lisa. know. Sydney, Sydney Sweeney. Sydney Sweeney. All right. She, she has a bit of a butter face. I'll get I'll give you that. But the body, holy shit. Sydney Sweeney. A bit okay, of a butter she, face. She's cute. So, so far, this is the cutest girl you've mentioned. She is. She is. Yeah. She's she's all right. Uh, yeah. these are not girls I'm gonna crawl over broken glass for. Uh, um, you don't do that for any girl. I don't do it for any girl, but yeah, this one I would ah. I guess I wait. Is she the actress from American Beauty? No, no, no. that's no, she can oh. be, man. She's way too young to be that. Uh, no, she, oh. of legal age, but like American Beauty is how long ago? 20 years, 1999, 23 years. It's just a couch, One of the greatest movies ever. Could you help me spot? I love that scene. What are you doing? You would, you would love the gay scene. You would that you would. That's no. I said I oh, love the, movie. the pot. Yeah, he's like, want to spot me? That's yeah. What are you doing? I am doing recreational drugs and bench pressing. I need and a spot. Quail on my abs. <laughs> on my pecs. Oh. Well, I'm, glad, uh, I'm glad you and I are never going to fight over the same girl. Um, oh no! Oh no! Because you chase dudes, apparently. No, I don't. Jesus Christ! What? 
Ava Green does not look like it. I'm, I'm kidding. Of course, I'm kidding. I know you. Uh, I like the pussy. Tropic Thunder. <laughs> yeah. Oh my God! Did I tell Holy you this? <laughs> oh my. So I forgot that Tropic Thunder had those trailers before the movie actually began. Yeah. Yeah. With the twerking and everything. Yeah, yeah. So I was dating this chick. I'm like, we need to watch Tropic Thunder. She's like, why? It's like, oh, it's so funny and blah, blah, blah. But I forgot about the trailers. Before. The trailers. So, so I put on the movie and that comes in and she looks at me like. <laughs> I'm like, okay, hold on. Give it, give it a couple of minutes. It's going to get better. Thank God it did. <laughs> She looked at me like, what the fuck is this? What is this? What was it? Uh, Devil's no, it was Alley? Like the, what was Yeah, what was it was one? like the, it's the booty sweat that comes up first. Then the farties. Fatties. fatties yeah, the party. fatties. And, and then, about the gay priest. Yeah, Devil's, Devil's Alley or Devil's something. Something. Whatever. She just looked at me like, what the hell have you started? Did they then luckily... I was gonna say, Go didn't they always have the same guy who was? Who, it was the guy who did the voice in a world, like he narrated <laughs> all of them. Like, yep. <laughs> <laughs> and she couldn't believe that was Tom Cruise. Who's got the yeah. firmest grip here? <laughs> you. I want you to punch that director <laughs> straight in the face. <laughs> I'm oh. sorry, boss. Boom. <laughs> Not one girl gets that movie. No, one she did. Girl, she I, found it hilarious. She, she found it like, okay, good. I, I yeah, but uh, that was the same girl who I had that conversation with about like emotional abuse. She was, she was an intellectual conversationalist, very pleasant to be with, things like that. Like not when did she every. Not, when did she stop calling you back? Um, uh, at the point where we were like, yeah, you yeah. live like two hours away. I'm not there anymore because she was in the neighborhood of when I was in the same town as my former bass player before we went to Portugal. Mm -hmm. And even though she was very pleasant and things like that, there was enough going on where I was like, yeah, this is not going to be long term. Yep. And for that, I would like to point you to your statistics of SSRIs. Oh, was she on the was she on SSRIs? <clears throat> That's too bad. But yeah. I'm so happy. Mm. I'm so empowered, Jack. Oh, uh, she wasn't one of those. Thank God. Oh, but she wasn't one of those. On it. I, I, just... I mean, uh, most people. It's not as bad in the Netherlands as in the states of the the opioid crisis. Yeah. But oof, it's getting bad here. It's like That's Jesus Christ. People just more. flaunt to the pills. Oh, good. <laughs> Rob finally agreed with me. We were making Star Wars references. Yeah. I'm like, yeah, that's going to be you when, when Cappy finally turns me to the black pill. Like, Cappy wishes he was Sidious. I'm Palpatine. I'm like, no, 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 no. Hear me out. It's like, you're one of the de the degenerate Jedis who think there is still hope in the sexual marketplace. Cappy is Sidious who wants to turn me to the black pill. It's like, which one is shit Sidious? that makes sense? Palpatine? Like the is Emperor? The Emperor? Yeah. Oh. <clears throat> Pal yeah. Palpatine and Sidious are the same ones. Really? Do I have to explain this? I do. Star I Wars lore. Star Wars because uh, okay, okay. So I'm I'm the emperor of the yeah. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Yes. You are the Black Pill Emperor, Darth oh, yeah. Hideous. <laughs> too easy. <laughs> too easy. I'm sorry. That was bad. Go, but too do you easy. have anything aside from more insults for me? In story? No, no, no. I'm uh, very thankful you wanted to be here. Plug your shit. Then we're wrapping this one up. Uh, assholeconsulting.com. If you'd like to hear Jack's voice, read the narrated book version of The Menu Life Without the Opposite Sex, which is what all Dutch women are going to need pretty soon. And then there's the book of numbers, analyzing the ROI of the pursuit of women. Curse of the High IQ. You have an intelligent group. Curse of the High IQ. Let's have that one. That would be a good book for all your European listening friends uh, growing up and living in a world of fucking stupid people and how it's a chore and a pain and how to survive as an intelligent person so there you go that's it okay that's it my shit i have one spot left for the monthly consultation group get your fitness shit in order strength training in order personalized diet plan fitness schedule training schedule apologies and monthly consultations with a 24-hour uh, access to the private discord clary's financial excellence course oh, go yeah, there. That right there too i forgot about that it's good 
like if you've read your material, it's a bit abundant. But if you're new to all of it and you want a digested version, great place to start. I would like like that's square one. I would say, yeah. Mm -hmm. And truth the mug, of course. It's hey, not as good I, as yours, but I, I don't know why you didn't want to like make more of those. <laughs> no, that's going to be limited edition. I can't get the angles right. It's always ah hell with it. There it is. <laughs> okay guys hit the like subscribe if you haven't comment down below your thoughts of this show take us out toodles told scenes <laughs>